Otter is one of the biggest commodity there are naturally. Even though Earth is covered with 70% of water, only 1% is available for our daily uses. That 1% of usable water is now being threatened by the industrial usage. Industrial wastewater contains high level of chemical which destroy the harmless composition of water making it unusable by neither human or mother nature. The textile industry uses chemicals such as dye in its processes. When discharged into a water body, dye is hard to be treated as it is made from aromatic structures which make them resistant to heat and light. Also, dye is considered as biologically non-biodegradable. Regardless of dye challenging properties to be degraded, few techniques have been discovered to cope with its problems. Fortunately, a solution can be found easily along the shorelines of beaches. Considered as an unwanted waste, the vast majority of these shells are either thrown into landfills or dumped at sea. Mollusk shell consists of over 95% calcium carbonate which is used in many agricultural and engineering applications. Mollusk shell, especially mussel and cockle shell, are found to be a great ingredient to create adsorbents. The high percentage of calcium carbonate in mollusk shell can be calcined into calcium oxide. There are three types of treatment while treating wastewater. Physical treatment, chemical treatment, and biological treatment. Adsorption is a type of physical treatment. It doesn't change the water chemically nor biologically. Its application uses physical forces to treat sewage by separating contaminate from the wastewater. Adsorbents are usually a solid substance that adsorbs another substance. It works by using the principle of physical adsorption, which is a pure state of extraction of the surface of the adsorbent for the targeted contaminate molecule. In this case, methylene blue. To use this product, 200 grams of mollusk shell adsorbents are mixed into 10 mg per liter of dye. After 3 minutes, we can see that the methylene blue dye concentration has decreased due to the mollusk shell adsorbents. After 1 hour of mixing, we can see the results. Methylene blue solution was absorbed by the mollusk shell, decreasing the concentration of dye upon the water. But, why choose mollusk shell as an adsorbent? Well, mollusk shell waste is an environmentally friendly adsorptive material with zero metal or inorganic material added and zero chemical discharge during or after adsorbent processes. Also, by utilizing mollusk shell waste as a raw material, the adsorptive material produced can be classified as a low-cost material. Mollusk shell adsorbents are also beneficial because it has the potential to significantly reduce pollutants in wastewater by utilizing mollusk shell waste as an adsorptive material. The society can also contribute to this project by amassing mollusk shell in their homes. Moreover, our product is a green-based adsorbent as it is made from renewable waste source. Mollusk shell waste, which is found abundant naturally, contains calcium carbonate, which can be calcined to form calcium oxide, creating mollusk shell adsorbent. Mollusk shell adsorbent can be used in place of catalyst, which can eliminate potential toxic byproducts, making them less hazardous to the environment. Finally, the mollusk shell adsorbents also has a high market potential in the wastewater treatment industry. This is due to the characteristics of the product, which are raw materials are easy to attain because mollusk shell wastes are found abundant naturally. Next, less models are spent in creating mollusk shell adsorbents and maintaining process sustainability resulting in simple procedures and less equipment involved. Most shell from waste to wealth.